Hi, it's me again with Corel Golf Tips and Tricks. Real quick video. I was watching the video after I loaded it and I realized a lot of people might not realize that if you have Corel Draw, you have Corel Draw Photo Paint. Just go right up here to this launcher and just launch Corel Photo Paint and it'll come up. I already have it open, so it's going to open it again. But it's pretty cool, and then I'm just going to bring in that picture. I'm going to get rid of the welcome screen. There's a way to get around that, too. And I'm going to X out the welcome screen. I'm going to go to File, Open. I call that the Tree Palm. And open that photo. And if you didn't watch part one of this where we removed the shadow, it's pretty cool. Thought I'd add in just... In, Let's try this. Let's try removing, let's change my, let's change this to full size. Let's change my nut, my nib to 200 again. Let's remove this cloud. So I'm gonna click, well, I, I messed up. Let me back up here, because I had it on the top of the screen. I'm gonna right click, or left click the mouse, and then I'm just gonna swipe out that cloud. Now this might show a little bit difference in the color, but you could go over that again and, you know, a real photographer would see that. But we could, you know, let's go this, let's just try this. This is brand new to me too. Let's grab a, a swap of the, of the lighter color. And I got in that tree, so I got to, I'm going to have to erase that tree. But you could play around with that and, and most, the time people are printing stuff. So let's go back to the clone tool and take the sample right there and just wipe that out. Now it's kind of looking dirty. I maybe have gone too far. But wherever you go over with the blue, you're going to clone it. And uh, pretty cool effect. I mean, if you wanted to make the tree different. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.